wild, wacky, and crazy science experiment with boys and girls just like you. Now, before we begin, I do have to go over the three rules for mad science. You see whether we're doing mad science at a New Year's levy like this, if we go to your school, to one of our summer camps, or even to birthday parties, we use the same three rules everywhere we go. The number one most important rule is safety. I've set up a mini laboratory behind me, so I'm going to ask you to all stay seated in the safety zone and don't come up here and touch anything in the danger zone unless I've asked you to touch it. Sometimes I bring things with me that are a little bit dangerous. The second rule, which is equally as important, but safety is always first, is to be respectful of others. That just means that as long as someone's talking, turn your listening ears on and don't talk at the same time, because otherwise you, well, you'd probably miss what that person's trying to say. And not only do I not want you to, of course, not miss anything I'm telling you today, I also don't want to miss anything you're telling me. So if you have an answer to one of my questions or a question yourself, if you could raise your hand and wait until everybody's respectful of you, that way I won't miss what you're saying either. That brings me to rule number three, which is my favorite. It gets me kind of excited. Rule number one is safety. Number two is respect. And number three is that you have to have fun. It's, it's a rule. You're not going to break it, are you? No? Good. So I came here today to talk to you about one of my favorite science subjects of all time. I am so excited about it. I brought my favorite book model full of science right here. Oh, you guys don't seem as excited about it as I am. Does, does anybody know what my bottle is full of? Anybody? What, what is air. my bottle full of? Air! You're right! My bottle is full of air! Isn't air exciting? Maybe not? I, I thought it was so exciting because it takes up all the space everywhere and it weighs so much and it's... You guys are looking a little confused. Do you not believe me that air takes up a lot of space? And, did you not believe me that air weighs a lot? Have you ever tried to hold up the weight of the air before? Everybody hold your hands up in the air like this. Can you all hold that air up? Look at how strong you are. You guys are like, like superheroes holding up all that air. Doesn't feel so heavy, does it? But how about if I do some experiments to prove to you that air does take up a lot of space and that it does weigh a lot? Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. To start off with, can anyone tell me what's going to happen to my bottle full of air if I empty all of the air out of it? What do you think will happen to my bottle? Um, it will explode. My bottle's going to explode? Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to blow this place up or anything. Are you sure? How about if I test it? Does anyone think that I could take all the air out of my bottle? Yeah. Let's see. Ready? Set? How come the air is not coming out of my box? Yes. Because air is everywhere. Oh, I see what you're saying. So as fast as I take the air out, the air is going back in, right? I have an idea. I know of a very smart scientist by the name of Otto von Goering. He had a very silly name, but he was very smart. He invented this vacuum extractor pump. It, uh, it works great to take all the air out without any more air going inside. I just need to twist it on, and then I need to use some mechanical energy. Does anyone know where I get mechanical energy from? Anyone? Oh, do you have some for me? Oh, yes, I have to pump it with my muscles, right? Except, you know, I was so excited about coming here today. I didn't really eat a great breakfast. You know, breakfast actually gives you energy to get through the day. And oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. Does anyone here have a lot of energy they can lend to me? Oh, do you? Come on up here. Help me out. All right. I'm so excited he's coming up here because if I keep going, I'm going to need a nap. You have energy too? Okay, I'll get you to help me soon, all right? What's your name? Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, okay. Aiden, can you uh, keep pumping that for me? You look like you had a good breakfast today. So does anyone notice what exactly is happening to my bottle as long as Aiden keeps pumping all the air out? What's happening to my bottle? Aiden's wrecking my bottle? Yes. But Aiden, it's my favorite bottle full of science. Why are you destroying it? I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I did see you pumping, didn't I? Well, you see, I think, Aiden, the problem is that we're taking out all the air and the bottle's getting squished and 
I don't really want to totally destroy it because then I wouldn't have it to do all my other science experiments. So, Aiden, how do I fix this? Put air back in it. Okay, should we maybe stop pumping? Okay, and maybe I'll just take the lid off. Do you think the air will go back in? All right, let's see. Aiden, I hope this works. Uh oh. It didn't exactly inflate again. Well, what do you think? Squeeze the bottle. I worked a little bit. How about I blow some more air back in? Do you think that'll fix it? <gasps> oh, I think I fixed it. Aiden, you did a great job. Give him a big round of applause. 